Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we will not take a look at the books, we will talk today about time, money and making comics and all the things, well forget that. Um, the habit of drawing anatomy definitely sticks, I was looking again at the Inky guy, uh, watch the video before this one. Um, then I was kind of, this, this month was really a hustle month, so today I do nothing, it's a sharpen the saw day, um, where I will just chill, relax and get stuff done. Here I was drawing a bit, but this is really cool, I'm um, wanting to give you hope that once you understand anatomy, like, you will just be able to pump out bodies and stuff um, doesn't have to take necessarily long it's just you just have to get it and once you get it like you have it you it's it's not going anywhere else once you get you get it it's yours nobody can take that away from you and so here was drawing Dua Lipa I plan to paint her on a big canvas and um, here just were some um, Babes anatomy, anatomy drawings. Not really good, but I will get to it. Um, I got a new book called Company of One. Um, I got the new, not a new, a few Walking Dead comics. And I got some old Warhammer Fantasy uh, army books or codexes. But we will talk in a different video about all of this today and I hope the lighting is um, decent because it's a rainy mm, end of November day here in Germany near Stuttgart and um, we're in the middle of an energy crisis and the end of the world you will own nothing and be happy let's see about that I think we will not go into new dark ages we will be cool, keep cool, and let's minimize regret. And I will talk to you now about um, time, money, and making comics. Don't worry, I will put in um, timestamps down below, so we'll, you will know what we are talking about. So. When I started making comic or making comics, let me talk about that. For me, it was like a calling, like dreams, talents, um, wants and wishes were there. Like I was like, oh cool, this is comics, I can draw, I love stories, let's do comics for a living. And as soon as you hear that, like a lot of alarm sounds go off. Because like your boy Zach always makes fun of people who uh, are in comics and make a living in comics that they earn nothing, and that's a topic. Like that's a, a that's a topic. How we how we can tackle that problem and um, how we can make it work. And so I hope it's not going to be a long video but there are a few topics to talk about so I think there is no one single way to approach making comics or a career in comics or making comic uh, money from comics or learning the craft um, everybody has a wildly different story of his life and his up bringing but most people love comics love stories can write can draw are sensible people um, they want to do awesome stuff and that's what we're here to do so this is the moment I wished I would have uh, broken this down even better well let me start at the beginning point one um, when I wanted to make comics after I had finished my movie school 
and worked a while for the movies I was kind of burned out because like um, just the movie school like it it gave me so much like the community the like-minded people making projects together making movies together um, the visual aspect the narrative aspect really cool but then like the the work related and I am truly I'm I can work a lot and I can work also insane hours um, but work has to be sustainable making comics has to be sustainable and that's why we're talking about time money making comics um, because this weekend uh, is Comic Con in Stuttgart and I'm not there because I have not made a new or fresh comic um, and also like Comic Con it's fun but sometimes it takes away from your time your money and get you're not making comics or making money or process in that time and so yeah let's talk about the end product you want to make comics so let's say you start well first it depends what kind of comics you want to do um, if you would just want to do comics and if you want to do uh, web comics or printed comics um, there is a certain pressure to deliver something good but you have not yet put the pressure of making money from it or making a living from it and this channel definitely goes or aspires to be the comic school that teaches you let me let me let me look like the comic school number one it wants to teach you the craft like writing drawing painting coloring publishing then it wants to tell you the philosophy the right intentions um, which is also a bit of craft like how to write what to write about uh, where you can draw inspiration from and then definitely also the philosophy of what might be good writing like uh, for example um, the new rings of power um, they, they, they got a huge budget those two people who made it and they said like um, the Lord of Rings is about this place and this is all the places we didn't visit and somebody pointed out that stories are not about places but about people like it's like um, if somebody enters like uh, a movie pitch and says oh this is New York and San Francisco and this is the places we've visited uh, in all the movies and this is uh, all America and the whole world we have not visited yet we, we're going to these places and tell those stories okay but then again um, I saw the other day um, a British guy from Iran and um, he has a movie channel and he watched um, Dead Poet Society and it's about boarding school and teachers and philosophy and he and I were not into philosophy and boarding school Catholic boarding schools in the 1970s but that movie made him cry and that movie made me cry why because the stories are relatable it is about conformity it is about it's about deeper themes it's about conformity being um, a free thinker somebody that creates from his own mind and that is what i always wanted to be myself so and number three uh, was how to make a living with your craft and art and this is what this already bloated video is about good lord nine minutes but okay let me tell you one thing when i was when i finished school i was watching like gary vaynerchuk and um, a lot of other guys and so gary vaynerchuk which in my eyes was like um huge in those times and he told me um live cheaply live frugally um get a small job and he was big on uh, go and live with your parents um, and 
um, don't live in a big city, live in the suburbs, um, don't, 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 uh, don't go on uh, big vacations, um, work, save every penny, grind yourself self to death, um, eat shit for the past, for the next 10 years, and then you can rise. <laughs> Which kind of happened, or I did, um, but I don't know if that was the best approach. So let's go into number one, scalable business. Um, if I make, let's say, a YouTube channel, or I make a comic, or I make a book, um, sure, it takes a bit of time to write and make such a thing, but then it's scalable. You can print this multiple times. People might want to buy this and um, you make it once and you sell it maybe many times. If I make something, a book, and sell it for one euro or one dollar, if it sells a million times, you get a hang of it. So it would be good uh, to enter a scalable business or to create a scalable business to make a living from it. Um, which leads on s us to point number two. Um, you might make a comic with all your heart, with all your soul. You sacrifice time, money, relationships, and you sell none of this. It's happened a million of times. Um, so before you you get there you should start small like maybe and we will come to that in a, in a, f a future video um, maybe just make your first comic and see if that sells or even before you sell if people like it if people read it if you get feedback if people are asking you um, oh when's the next coming because like these days uh, a friend asked hey what is the last pickup artist number three coming and then I click into the mode and I think, yes, I have to finish it. People are waiting to get the comic. Um, so a scalable business would be better. When I'm painting, let's say, a picture like that, I can sell it just once. Um, then a good thing would be to sell it for a high price. So I don't know if it's happened, but let's say I would sell this for one or two thousand euros or even more. Um, that money would buy me a lot of freedom um, or I could pay the rent for you, you know money frees up time and um, that's where we come to point number two monthly income when I decided that I would quit my day job doing um, or making movies or helping someone else create his dream I also worked for um, not only for movies also for animated uh, movies and just let's say you have a regular job you go there um, you start at 9 you get at 17 o'clock you go home um, and the time you spend there um, yeah you kind of spend your time but you're getting a monthly income and let's look at this from a couple of different perspectives like um, I would recommend you if you want to make comics that you need time and you need money um, so let's say you don't work nothing and you stay at your parents or you have no or low uh, rent to pay um, with no money, I cannot advise that because like being broke will break you uh, in many ways because like you need money to go places, to look a certain way, um, to afford um, stuff to do, to get gear, to get uh, pencils, to, to afford education. So having money in your life, having a job or at least a part-time job is very good because it's like a patreon like money um, art needs money it doesn't need a tons of money but it's good to have money so it's like a flower that's growing and you're watering it 
and you're watering, watering yourself with money. Um, 2014, when I did this, I had some savings, but then I was very stubborn. I uh, didn't get myself a job. I told myself, man, I'm good enough. I can do something and then sell it. And that put a huge pressure on my art to succeed very early in its infancy. And that's not the best way. So a much better way would be to have a job and then create art. Um, and there's like uh, a book. I will link it down below as soon as I um, know the name of the book. Um, and in that book, it is something like uh, John John Grisham, the author of uh, great books. He was a lawyer and he kept his day job because he had to sustain himself and his family. And so in his free time, he wrote those books and tried to publish those. And the first failed, the second failed, and then the third one or something like that was the jury. And then after that, he started his career. And um, yeah, that's a possibility. Um, now let's look at the pros and cons of full-time job, part-time job, no job. Well, let's say you have a full-time job. You have to get up, you go there, um, and then we will factor in, like if you have family, no family, girlfriend, and all of that stuff. Like a full-time job, the nine to five, that was for me really soul-sucking because like I value um, freedom and focusing my mind on the tasks I find very important. I, I kind of didn't want to make this, mo uh, this video today, but nothing else was possible like my gut instinct and my head and everything told me do this video it's important so having a full-time job can have the benefit like you go there you don't have to think much you do your job you get home or whatever you do and then you can do in a really relaxed way your um, creative endeavor and start building your craft, start building, um, posting your craft or uh, or what you've done, like your art, um, creating or generating an audience via Instagram, YouTube, because like you need an audience and people have to know what you can do and you need to know what you can do. So if somebody asks, hey, can you draw this for me? Can you do that? Can I buy that from you like two things you're either selling a product um, a painting or a comic or a game or something you created or you're selling a service um, a commission for somebody else sure it's still a drawing or teaching someone like this week i was teaching three times um, for children and young adults and um, that's really good money but also i sold um, a commission and that's it for this week but it paid for the week you know and next week again the same things and maybe and and sometimes i also um sell products like comics or games and i'm trying to amplify those too um things that could suck from a full-time job is like you go there and you have really no time or you think you have r really no time to do something else. You go there, you have uh, energy and then you come home and you're just drained of energy and uh, it sucked your soul and just you don't want to do nothing. You maybe want to go to the gym or not even to the gym. Um, you don't want to see people or want to see people, whatever the situation is like, you don't have enough time to create or you create, uh, but you don't have enough time to relax or go to the gym or see people or spend time with your girlfriend. You know what I mean? So um, time needs to be created or put aside and money needs to be created, taken. <laughs> don't rob anything. Just I mean by taken, I mean um, you need money to come in. Uh, usually you sacrifice time, knowledge, or you provide a service and get money. So you need time, money. Um, then pros and cons of a part-time job. A part-time job could be very good 
maybe it doesn't bring in uh, as much so your lifestyle uh, gets downgraded but you have time now to create whatever you need to create um, and before we go on this path I have to warn you or, or, or a disclaimer like um, if you want to make a living through comics I don't say it's not possible I mean like here these people are making it and you need to get at least to um, a drawing level like this or a bit below or a writing level and um, it would be interesting how Robert Kirkman did it or Charlie Adlard did it but I guess it's like you start from zero and you get to a certain point where you get noticed and you're good enough um, and I thought I would hit that point um, earlier but I did get noticed um, and my art is okay maybe it's even good but it needs improvement it's not yet up there so that um, I'm easy easy somebody picks me and says okay I'm do a comic with you and then mostly I think Charlie Adler is also a good friend of Robert Kirkman and um, they clicked so it's always good to to work with people you know and you will develop that like as your artwork gets better and you take money from that um, you will kind of go always up the ladder so a uh, part-time job and the warning was this like um, we're again all over the place but the warning is this if you commit maybe to a path like this like to an artistic path or to a path where you're self-educated or you go to a school um, know that your peers will likely be ahead of you um, money wise uh, maybe adventure wise because like they they don't maybe they don't have to think or work so hard for their money um, and you're kind of taking a step back maybe maybe um, but I'm not recommending to take too many steps back um, or to to avoid getting cash in like for a long time I was just um, honing my craft and I was usually always getting money in because I knew uh, money and um, needs to come in but there were times when I had money then I was kind of thinking okay maybe I take off and just finish the comic so um, I can see if then I can generate more comic jobs or you know what I mean okay this this will not good be a good video but anyways um, so no job is not an option <laughs> um, it will not, not lead to a happy life um, the full-time job is maybe uh, maybe a part-time job would be good and if you're looking for a job maybe can you can um, it should either be something that is really fun for you so at least when you're there you have your creative juices flowing and when you come home you have time and you want to do it um, or maybe it's a job that brings you a lot of money and you can tolerate it don't do stu stupid stuff or stuff you don't want to do just to get the money and don't put yourself uh, into too much stress because you need to be also kind of have a rela relaxed mind and relaxed body but don't be broke work for something get yourself a small job and it's also very important um, to have something going on um, I mean um, I once had uh, a comic colleague that is now very famous here in Germany and he was living from welfare and he said it, it was the best time of his life he just was living from welfare he drew comics and then he became successful and it worked for him but I was like last year due to corona uh, a couple of month on welfare and it didn't work for me it kind of hindered my hunger for money and creativity like um, uh, paying the rent or paying stuff or wanting to buy stuff um, or wanting to live is is a carrot in front of your face 
um, sure sometimes it's a hamster wheel but if you know that you want to build um, what you want to build and what you want to experience it's sometimes good to get into money and not be capped by somebody else like yeah Number three, uh, Gary V advises to live with your parents. And after that, we will talk about small town versus big towns. So Gary V was uh, big on uh, go and live with your parents and live very cheaply. Uh, pros and cons, uh, it's cheap maybe or it's cheaper. Uh, maybe your parents do, do not charge uh, so much. Um, what else? Um, you're kind of sheltered um, if things fail you're um you're kind of safe nothing can really happen to you no landlord can kick you out um you're not building or you're not going into debt or something like that and i would say if you're young or um if you want to try um do that you can also be a big help for your parents I know that societies um, are getting and, and, and families are getting split up. Um, so pro could be that you could grow or stay or make a stand for yourself and your family. You could be of help. Big, big cons could be um, that uh, your parents interrupt you, um, that you have a safety net and why, because you have a safety net, you're not uh, growing enough. Um, it could be that you're relying on the money from your parents when no money is coming in. That's what I mean with a safety net. Um, if you're a guy or a girl, maybe for a guy it's a bit harder in your 20s or 30s or older. Living with your par parents might be a huge turn off for women. And probably, uh, rightfully so, um, because um, when a woman meets you or you want to have a partner, they want to know if you're able to carry your own weight and stand on your own two feet. And they want to see an apartment, bills paid, monthly bills paid, a car. They want to see your life up and running. And that's very, very important. On the other side, let's come back to the full-time job for a second or you having the bills up and running. Once you have family and once you have like the full-time job or the part-time job or you're paying all the bills, um, maybe, maybe you have wife or kids or maybe you have a partner um commitments money to get in your energy and time is also spent on different things which are very important to life like i will go into these in a second but the quality may be of your drawings of your writing of your work might suffer because you have other commitments to paying bills um, to spend time with your family to care for them if it's your partner, um, to go on a vacation, to buy and shelter, to buy, uh, to c clothe them, feed them and shelter them. Um, and I wouldn't shit on that because like um, I, I was always, I had always like the mindset, the Rocky mindset, I die for comics <laughs> and I probably did die a lot for comics. Um, and I also from my younger age to my 30s i went like the pick up road which i was chasing the ladies of the night and um, i worked all day so i got out at nights and i surrounded myself with like girls of the night party girls um artists musicians um and you know what i mean a different a different breed of people like we're not just sitting at home all the time we go out at nights and we party and like that was uh, for a long time my life. But at a certain point it ends or becomes very shallow. Um, uh, but that's also why I'm making this movie because like uh, I'm making this video because like the advice Gary Vaynerchuk give like stay with your parents, be very frugal is very good advice. 
but maybe and this is why i'm telling you this like oh, 30 minutes in um he's like he was successful and so what made him successful he preached um and so maybe he came from a very humble spot because he did it that way um but might doesn't always make right so andrew tate for example preaches something he preaches do this do this grind and he did it this way and it made him successful but once somebody reaches the top it's very hard to question how he got there and so sometimes these people can give advice that led to their success um, but it doesn't have to lead to your success or it doesn't have to be good advice for you um, so they don't give sometimes a very nuanced approach like living with your parents can be good but it can also be very detrimental like you have a safety net but maybe having a saf safety net can be very detrimental maybe it's better for you to have a full-time job a part-time job your own apartment your own bills to pay to have that stress and then to make time for comics but what i've seen in my experience is that people that have families or that it, or are making like um, uh, a normal living and not having living humbly they don't do usually the comics or their craft doesn't get off or they aren't that good you know what i mean um, but mm, that's just it's the question if i'm seeing that accurately but i'm definitely seeing it a bit nuanced it's not just do this do that and everything happens magically so and it's also like um yeah you need to plan for let's see a book i will recommend that um pursuing comics good money normal career freedom adventure we have covered that stay on your path we have also covered that um, working for others this is a part i have to um, cover like sometimes like i had a commission or two commissions in the past couple of weeks um, where I, I was working for people i know and both commissions were great both commissions i did in a good fashion um, but one commission was like okay i don't like very much the subject i'm drawing maybe it would be better if i draw stuff and then sell it and that approach can work if i draw something th something that somebody wants um, but sometimes if you're not yet in that position you just um, work for others and here is like again the question do you work commissions like you, you you're drawing somebody asks you can you draw my dog can you draw my niece can you draw my family can you draw all that stuff and i also drew like comics and commissions for other people which got me really pumped but when i wa then was drawing those things i was always thinking my god why why am i drawing for other people i mean i'm getting paid it's cool i'm learning the craft which is good but also i'm not doing my own stuff why can't i not do my own stuff right now and then it's the question do you want to pursue the path where you work for others do a really really good job take that cash and take the cash to buy yourself freedom or a, a block some time um, and work on your own stuff so that maybe your own stuff can lead to success and monetary success one day or should you have just a normal job which has nothing to do with your vocation or the thing you're pursuing like uh, making maybe or breaking into comics or making um, your own walking dead or however this can work but yeah i wanted to just tell you that that so sometimes i was working on commissions on comic jobs on stuff people paid me and paid me good but um i felt like man i'm i'm kind of using up my drawing mojo maybe 
it would be better to work something different. And the thing I work right now, which doesn't text, uh, text me, uh, which I do really good and which brings good money, and I have nothing like, like, um, it doesn't, sp it doesn't consume me. It's like teaching. I teach classes, and I love to do that because, like, um, I love to give back. And it doesn't cost me like anything, like those skills are already in me. And so I just give, I am there, I give my time, then I come back to my desk and I can do my own stuff. And um, a friend of mine, which plays music, um, he had, let's say, some normal jobs, but now he has a, a job working at a guitar shop And that's like um, branching out to similar um, having a day job or having a part-time job in something that is similar to your craft, which you might enjoy. And maybe if you learn something, you can teach that. Or maybe if you learn to draw, you can sell that as a service or um, good. And... Well, I don't know if this is a good video. I'm looking at my paper, time, making money, compare yourself. Yeah, the last point, compare yourself to others. It's sometimes good to compare yourself to others um, because you need to know what you really want and what is really good and so that you don't lose yourself um, in an ivory tower or in a cave and you say I don't need that I have this um, and then come the holidays and you're lonely broke and sad um, or on a Sunday evening and you don't know what hit you um, I would say you need friends you need time for relaxation you need a hobby you need a boy or a girlfriend or a loved one in your life. I think life gets much more beautiful that way. Um, maybe you need a gym or to train or to go for a walk. Um, all the thi uh, health, wealth, family, friends, all very important. And maybe you can structure your life to have those things, but also stay committed on your path to make comics or art. And um, if you're like me and you want to make money from your art, from your, from the things you have learned and from your career, um, then it's good to compare yourself, but also know that each, each individual story is very different. Like my upbringing was very different. Um, Like my father died when I was five, a single mother raised me. Um, I had no real access to art um, and illustration school, um, didn't have internet for a long time. But, but maybe that all that traumatized me so heavily that I'm putting out videos like this like you maybe you will not see this content any other uh, on a, another channel because people are just not hurt in the same way i am hurt and so i don't want to i don't want you to suffer um i will cut this now off well let's say a, a, a last one which is big versus small city uh big town versus small town, big city versus small town. If you stay in a small town, um, I don't know if that's good for your mind, but it could be uh, like less dist uh, pr pros, less destruction, uh, di distraction, distractions, um, less time, less money to spend. Um, maybe people you, you know and that know you, maybe at some deeper roots, um, but cons, it could be that the small town is killing your soul. You don't fit in because you belong uh, with other artists or maybe you can fit in or maybe you can um, 
yeah it's it's not that easy like there is no right or wrong you have to find out for yourself like it could be that in a big city um the stress um of living is higher uh paying rent is maybe higher living going out but maybe that's also all worth it because like you have more people more places to go and so you have much more stress but maybe also much more fun and maybe that could fuel your artistic endeavors um, so there's really no right and wrong way there is no su one size fits all I've seen videos where people say stay out of the big cities um, don't get distracted um, don't pay too much then there's people who says um, don't stay in the small city you will stay small and all of that stuff so I just wanted to say in this video if this is the only thing you take from this video is that there are many nuances there there is no one size fits all um, that if you have questions ask me anything I want you to succeed I want to succeed and um, ultimately you have to figure out how you do it what you do and nobody can tell you beforehand you might have to experience you might have to trial uh, and fail um, and I think we're failing to victory and that's the way we go see ya